Good morning guys! Welcome back to my channel. This week we have a few things to do. So we just got a new um, barbecue so we're just going to go set that up right now outside and I also have a few internet quizzes like relationship style quizzes that I want Adam and I to take. I think that'll be super funny and entertaining so we're going to do that. Um, so yeah, let's go outside and get started. Okay, so I threw on a sweater because it's kind of cold outside. But here's the box. So this is the barbecue that we got. <laughs> this whole thing. Um, we've just got everything laid out right now. Laid out, laid out. The uh, big parts, the wheels. So we're just going to start putting it all together. Okay, so the first one is a BuzzFeed quiz, and it says, we can predict when you'll get married with 95% accuracy. This is especially um, helpful for us because at this point, we don't know when we'll get married. So first of all, are you in a relationship? Choose the wedding cake you like best. How long was your longest relationship? How long was your longest relationship? I've never been in one. Two to five years. Pick your dream honeymoon. With who? With me. Oh. Pick a dream honeymoon location. I'm going to pick for you and we're going with Tahiti. Uh, Tahiti. Right? Huh? June 23rd, 2019. Okay, well, obviously this is old, but June 23rd, that's pretty close. Our original date is obviously June 27th this year. That's pretty close, <laughs> I'd say. That's almost accurate. That's a pretty good one. We fight about movies, TV shows, and about spending quality time together. We do that. Can you come here? Give him a spin, bub. So it's coming along pretty well. We got the front bit on with the little knobby things. The wheels are on. It's coming along, you guys. barbecue it's a nice sunny day but uh, when we're done we're gonna throw some sausages on the grill for lunch and 
I'll see you guys then. Okay, so we got our barbecue built and it's just burning outside because you have to let it like fire off the grease. But while we were out there, I got a package. So I'm going to unbox it for you guys now. Um, I think it's my second pair of Uggs. Ooh, yeah, guys. Look at that. So just compared to my first pair that I showed you guys in the last vlog, it's a smaller box. So let's open these new guys up. <gasps> Look at how cute these are, you guys. So these ones are the women's lane slippers. And they're more of like a mule um, shape opposed to these scuffettes. So these are the first pair. And these are the second pair. So, <laughs> I got them both to see which ones I would like better, so I'm going to try them on right now. Okay, so here are the first pair. They're super cute, very comfortable. These are the scuffettes. So, I mean, they're pretty basic. Everyone has them, you know. You guys have definitely seen these before. I'm going to try on the lane slippers. so cute. I feel like the other ones are going to keep your feet more warm. So these are the Those lane are like slippers. The other ones are going to like going to keep your feet. Look how much freaking space you got on your feet. Okay, yeah. So the scuffets are a bit warmer, but these are way cuter. Now that I have them both, I kind of just want to keep them both. Like, this is not helping my decision at all. <laughs> oh, what do you guys think? The basic ones that are, like, warm, but everyone has them. Or the cool ones that are really fashionable, like, still warm and cozy, but I've never seen them before. You know? They're both in, like, the chestnutty color... I don't know, you guys. We'll off one. Okay, let's get going. Okay. We have to let it heat up a little bit more. Because I opened it. What do you want? <laughs> okay, we got the meat on the grill, you guys. You can have the crushed one. That's freaking <laughs> destroyed. That's yours. <laughs> I think these back ones are almost done. Look at that. Is it summer out here or what? Uh, <laughs> Good morning guys. Today is another day and today we are going to be doing a lot of different crafts. Um, I did a curbside pickup and we've got some canvases and some paints and stuff at Michael's and we bought bleach. Okay, so, as I was saying, we also got some bleach yesterday from the grocery store, so I'm going to do some tie-dye, um, like bleach tie-dye projects, and so, let me stand you guys up. So, I'm going to tie-dye this top that I'm wearing here, and then I've also got this sweater my navy blue champion sweater that we're going to bleach tie-dye okay guys so i have my two tops here i have a bunch of elastic bands and a little spray bottle with one third bleach two thirds water um so let's get scrunching and bleaching
Okay, so I've got both tops scrunched up. Um, I just used a bunch of elastic bands, scrunched it up in like all different places, um, over the seams, over the sleeves, and same with the small top. So front and back. And I'm just going to take my spray bottle and spray around the elastic bands because I think that'll give it like the most scrunched up effect. Um, so yeah, let's see how that goes. Okay, so I finished the bottle and I think it was just enough um, for both pieces. Obviously you can see the Champion sweater is already starting to bleach and discolor. I don't know how well this one is going to go because it's already kind of light in color, but we'll see. I'm just going to leave them here um, for a few minutes, maybe like 10-15 minutes, and then we'll come back. Uh, rinse them out and then put them in the washer Okay guys, so next on the docket is Painting um, I got a few things from Michaels and I wanted to do some wall art because our place is looking kind of Bare and we want to get some art on the walls. I was originally going to buy prints But they're really expensive and delivery is really slow these days. So I decided I would paint something um, so I went on Pinterest, got some inspo, um, and I wanted to recreate this one picture. I'll put a picture of it on the screen. Um, but yeah, so what I got from Michaels was a pack of canvases right there, some paint. This I already had, but I got some primary color paints so I can mix my colors, um, a big white paint, some paint brushes, and a paint palette and palette knives so we're going to get painting and see how this comes out okay so I have the first layer done of this like dusty kind of pink color um, it's all over the place but I may or may not do a second coat I kind of like how it's like streaky and splotchy like that um but yeah let's go check on the tie-dyed stuff i put them in the bathtub so let's go rinse them out and see how they look so they're all rinsed out um, i'm gonna throw them in the wash the water was still a little red from the dye coming out here so now that they're all rinsed i'm going to throw them in the wash and the dryer and we'll see how they come out i mean they look pretty cool so far so my clothes are out of the dryer and here's what the top looks like it's like more baby pink the bleached parts in the back so yeah I'd say it turned out pretty well I'll show you guys what the sweater looks like okay so here's the sweater dark blue um, bleaches to like a red orange color I think it looks super cool the back there you go guys I bleached my clothes <laughs> 